So this is the trigonometry that's on the SAT. Sine is like a mathematical function. Same thing with cosine and tangent. If this angle measurement is, let's say 60, you can take the sine of 60 and it turns into a decimal, it turns into a fraction. What that fraction represents is the opposite side across from the angle divided by or over the hypotenuse. Okay, and cosine is the same except for it's the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. The tangent of an angle is when you take the opposite side and you divide it by the adjacent side. Really what this is, is just a way to describe the side lengths of a right triangle. Like even if the angle moves, we can learn a lot from the right triangle just by knowing what the sine, cosine, and tangent of an angle is. Imagine if they took this away here, and they said that the cosine of theta, this angle up in here, is four-fifths. We know that the cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, and our hypotenuse is 10. Whenever they give us the sine, cosine, and tangent, they're gonna give it to us in a reduced form. So this 10 got reduced to a five, so we know we can multiply it by two to get the side length. We can multiply this four by two, and of course we're gonna get the side length. So rather than just giving you the side length, they sometimes give you the sine, cosine, or tangent of an angle and expect you to be able to fill out or figure out what that means for your diagram. There's one extra thing that you should be aware of and a way that they try to kind of hide this information. So let's head into that. Okay, so the first thing we need to think about is our relationship between the two angles in a triangle that aren't this right angle here. All three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And this guy right here is 90. So that means what's left for these two is 90 as well. A plus B equals 90. These two statements are also true as well. A equals 90 minus B. So if you're in a problem and you see a 90 minus B, they're really just saying angle A, okay? So keep that in mind as we go into these examples. Like for example, check this, check this, check this. Cosine of A equals the sine of B. Because, uh, just ignore this for a minute. The cosine of A is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The sine of B is this opposite over hypotenuse. If the cosine of one angle equals the sine of a completely different angle, then we know those two angles add up to 90. So whenever you see this, what they're trying to communicate to you is that A plus B equals 90. They don't wanna say it outright. This is how they're communicating that idea to you, okay? Another way they communicate it, and this is, the, this is this right here. The sine of A equals the cosine of 90 minus A. 90 minus A is B, right? So when we're dealing with two angles in a right triangle, if they say 90 minus A, that's the same thing as them saying B. And we know if the cosine of one angle equals the sine of another angle, then A plus B equals 90, okay? This, what you just learned, is about 90% of what you need to know for trig on the SAT. Could we talk about unit circles? Yeah. Yeah, we could. Could we talk about graphing sine, cosine, and tangent? Yeah, we, we probably could. The probability of those problems being on your test are pretty low. So if you're interested in those types of things, definitely come by the live stream and ask. But this is it. This is all you need to know. This page, the previous page, you don't need to know much else. And so here are some problems that you guys can try to test your skills and you can put your answers in the poll and that helps me a lot. All right, good luck. I, I send you forth on your, your trigonometry. Go, go forth, go forth.
Okay, so time is up. Here is number two. Okay, put your answers up into the poll. Here's number three. Here's number four. Okay, throw your answers up into the poll. Number five.
Okay, so I the pull only goes to five, but I have two extra problems, and they were so good. I I wanted to do them anyways. So here is number six. I know there's no room in the pole, but give it a shot. Last one, here's number seven. 